Hi, I'm John Jeremy and this is a series of presentations about the use of technology in indexing. This is the third presentation and in this one I'll look at cutting A3 size PDF files into A4 pages and combining multiple files into a single PDF. Last time we looked at reducing the size of a PDF file by printing it out to PDF. We can use the same approach to convert a file from A3 to A4 by pretending that we're printing it out on an A4 printer. The technique is known as poster printing and of course if it's a big file we can use the techniques from the first lesson to reduce the size of the file while we posterize it. Here for instance I've got a large document, you can see it's spread across a very wide page, it's actually bigger than A3 but the basic principles are the same. To convert that into a series of single pages I go to File, Print and I choose Adobe PDF as the printer here and come down to poster where I specify how many parts of this page are going to print out on an A4 sheet. At the moment I've got three, that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to scale it down a bit. Now the scaling is a matter of trial and error. Uh, don't press enter at this point or you'll start the process. What you do instead is just click somewhere else. And you can see that 90 is not quite enough. I'll come down to 85 and again just click somewhere else then and that's about what we want. It's now divided the document into two single pages. Um, everything else looks okay. It's printing in grayscale so it's going to lose any colour that happens to be in there but that's fine. I click on print and because I'm saving to PDF it's going to request a file name so we'll call it uh, single pages Montessori and when it's done that uh, printed PDF version will come up in Acrobat for us to have a look at. Obviously there'll be twice as many pages in the printed version, in the final version as there are in the original. If you've got a page a document that starts with a single page rather than a double page spread you can tell it to only uh, posterize the large pages and then the smaller ones will be left alone. There's the result, single pages. If we scroll down, what was previously two pages has now been, uh, previously one big page has now been divided into two smaller ones. Okay, so that's it for that file. Finally, for this lesson, I'm going to look at combining multiple files into a single. PDF. For that I'm going to open up Adobe Acrobat, close the current document, and then I can either go through this option here, combine files into PDF, or I can go through the file menu, file, create, combine files, it's exactly the same thing. Now I choose the files that I want to bring in. I can bring in several folders at once if I want to, but I'll just say add files here. Files are in this subfolder. Select all of the initial chapters. There we go. I say open. That brings them into Acrobat. Now, before I go ahead and combine them, I can rearrange the order if I want to put the preliminaries at the end, as we did with our file last time. We can do that and then say combine. And once again, when that's done, the resulting file will pop up in the Acrobat window for us. We'll be able to check the results. Okay, here we go. There's the file. The bits have been combined together. If I open up the uh, bookmarks panel here, you can see it actually remembers what each what section each part came from. So if you do need to locate the individual sections again at any time, that's available here under the, the bookmarks panel there. But I'm happy with this, I'm going to save the file 
And of course then we can go on and use those other techniques that we've already looked at. It's given the name binder, which is not very meaningful, so let me change that to something else. And that file is now saved. Thanks for that. Uh, don't miss the next lesson where we'll start. We'll talk a little bit about highlighting text in uh, Adobe Acrobat.